What's up folks? Part three of the CJ5 rebuild. Uh, I've got my buddy Nick here with me today. He's going to be helping me get the axles and springs off the frame. Um, we also have to remove the gas tank, but uh, we're getting the frame out of the shop and it's got about two inches of dirt on the inside of the frame rail. So I bought like a flexible piece of aluminum and just a flexible piece of all thread that we're going to kind of stick down in the holes of the frame and try to scrape the dirt free um, and then we're just gonna flip the flame flip the frame over um, a few times and try to blow it out with the blower uh, and see how well that works so um, that's the plan uh, then we're going to metal prep the frame with some phosphoric acid and then we've just got some rust oleum rusty metal primer and black satin enamel um, just went with rust oleum since this is a budget build um, so this should do the trick but um, Anyway, me and Nick are about to get started. All right, so Nick says he's coming to help and he's gonna bring the beers. Look at this little guy. Eight ounce Nick Ultra. So we're gonna be pounding eight ounces today. For the win. For the win. <laughs> All right, so we got the rear end out. It's out there. Um, frame sitting on the ground here. So the next thing we're gonna do is get the front axle out from off, out from under the frame. All right, before we could take the front out, we had to figure out what we were gonna do with the steering. I didn't really wanna try to take it all off because that's more to put back together. So we're just gonna unhook it right here at the pitman arm and keep everything attached to the axle and just roll it out. And I may take the gearbox out um, after we get the axle out from under it. I haven't really decided on that yet. So um, that's what we're about to do now is working on getting this out. So we've hit a bit of a snag on the front. <clears throat> this bolt right here is loose. The nut is off the other end, but it will not come out of the leaf spring. I put heat on it. We beat on it with a hammer and a bigger hammer. Still nothing. So I don't exactly know what we're gonna do about that. So we've tried everything on the bolt on the leaf spring. It still won't come out. So I'm about to get the sawzall and try to cut through where the bushing is. Um, so at least we can pull it out that way. All right, so I'm back. We got tired of beating on it and <coughs> got tired of beating on it. Hey everybody. Um, I'm about to tackle the bolt on the leaf spring again. Um, I've got more firepower today. 
I got tired of messing with it yesterday. Um, we had already put in like three hours of work getting the tank off and the rear axle out um, and the brake lines and some other things. So we were tired of working on it. I was tired of beating on the frame and trying to get this bolt out. And I've dulled all the blades that I had for my Sawzall. So today I'm gonna try to use the cutoff wheel and see if I can get it that way. So the cutting wheel on the grinder was definitely the way to go. It took like two minutes and I was through the bolt and we had the front axle out. So now that we're down to just the frame, we can work on getting the dirt out. Um, it's got about this much dirt inside the frame rails. Um, so we're gonna get a piece of all thread and scrape it like down in the frame and loosen up the dirt so we can flip the frame on its side and shake it and try to get as much dirt out of the existing holes in the frame as we can. Um, I'm trying to avoid uh, cutting, my, cutting a larger hole somewhere in the frame that I would have to patch later. Um, so that's what we're going to try. Okay, so that went a whole lot smoother than I expected. Uh, we pretty quickly realized that all we needed to do was flip the frame up on its end, um, take the dowel rod, jam it down in the holes, kind of force the dirt to the bottom, tap on the frame with the hammer, knock everything loose. Um, and then we used the shop vac. As the dust kind of fell to the bottom of the frame, we'd try to suck it out with the shop vac. Um, and then what, that got most of it out, but what we couldn't get out, um, we just took the pressure washer and I tried to get all around every direction um, inside the frame that I could get with the pressure washer and eventually the water that was running out was just clear and no longer had had any dirt mixed in with it so I'm pretty confident um, that we did a good job and you rub your finger in there it feels really feels just as good on the inside of the frame as it does on the outside of the frame so um, now I'm about to take the wire wheel and uh, try to get all the the major like rust spots knocked off any debris or dirt that's still stuck on the frame Wire wheel is working awesome. Uh, just to show you what I'm talking about, in case you don't know, um, just a grinder with a three inch wire cut brush on it. It's like using a wire brush, but without as much manual labor. Um, I'll show you before and after. The frame looks really good. All right, this is one side before the wire wheel. All right, and then this is the other side. Look how awesome it cleaned up. So I didn't even realize this until I was putting my glove back on just now. Uh, but look at that. There's a big old rip in it where I hit it with the wire wheel. Um, luckily I had the gloves on uh, and it didn't get my skin, but that's just a reminder to wear gloves when using the wire wheel and safety glasses. All right, well I've been pretty lucky up until now with taking bolts out um, and not being too rusty. But you can see here, I hit it with the impact um, so I could get behind here with the wire wheel. And as soon as I hit it, the head broke off. So now I guess I'm gonna try to pry it off so I can maybe get some vice grips on the end um, and maybe unscrew the bolt. Um, we'll see if that works. If not, uh, I may have to drill it out and go up a bolt size 
or possibly even just weld this piece back onto the frame after we're finished. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Okay, so the frame is done being wire wheeled. Next step and next video is gonna be acid washing the frame with phosphoric acid, priming it with Rust-Oleum primer, and painting it with Rust-Oleum satin enamel. So that's it for this video. Stay tuned till next time.